Today, I'm going to show you chord patterns that every EDM producer should know. And these chord patterns have been a signature sound in electronic music since it really started blowing up. And it's so important not to only know them, but to know how to use them as well. And that's what you're going to learn in this video. But the only way you're going to be able to learn every single important method that I teach you in this video is that if you watch the entire video from beginning to end. And as always, if you watch this entire video from beginning to end I guarantee that your chord game will become 20% better. So the first chord pattern I'm going to show you is a bit basic, but it's a very, very common chord pattern that you can find in pretty much any major artist songs like Martin Garrix, Avicii, David Guetta, and pretty much all the top artists for that matter because this pattern is so versatile. So I'm going to write a basic chord progression and then we're going to apply that pattern to this chord progression and I'm going to show you how I would use it. So if we take a basic set of chords like this, we can then add a nice little rhythm to these chords where we take the exact chords, add it to a different, more low tone sound that would be good for layering, like this. Go to MIDI effects, arpeggiator, grid, and then we're gonna trigger chords at 1 8th speed. And then we get this. So then what I like to do with a basic chord pattern like this is use them as a complementary layer to the original chords. So these are my original chords. And the way I would use these chords in order to progress my song is to have them come in later like this. So I would have uh, the original chords do a section of the song and then have this basic rhythm come in at a later section of the song like the bridge or the verse or something. Like that. Alright guys, so this next chord pattern I'm going to show you is a pattern very commonly used by Kygo, but also a lot more artists use this one. It is very versatile chord pattern and it's used in pretty much, I've heard it in every genre of music and it's really fun to make and I'm going to show you a really cool trick you could do with a pattern like this to make it sound authentic, bouncy, and super fun to listen to. So let's get to it. So here's the most basic form of this chord pattern. The way this pattern goes is it's a triplet pattern. So if you see this grid here, I'm going to end these chords right before that grid point. So we're going to have this little block of space and then we're going to start the next trigger before the next grid point. We're not done there. We could still do something really, really cool with this and make it a little bit more bouncy. So watch this. When I take these all, I can add swing to notes like this because they are triplets. They're not exactly on grid. So if you watch when I swing this swing knob here, that some of the notes budge over. And watch what this does to the rhythm. It makes it very bouncy. Now I'm going to right click it and force legato to shorten the notes so that they all fit. And you can see like now it's a little bit like hesitant on that next beat. So then what you could do is you could add some kickstart to this and just make it bounce like a house song. All right guys, so this next rhythm that I'm gonna show you is a, uh, a very fun rhythm to do and it can really add some spice to your tracks. And if you wanna hear this rhythm in action, go check out Martin Garrix and Tiesto, The Only Way Is Up. But of course, don't go check it out now because if you stop watching this video right now to go watch that video, your core game's not gonna be 20% better. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's our basic chord progression, but now let's go ahead and write a really cool rhythm of this chord progression that every EDM producer must know. So here's the sound I'm gonna use. And this one's again, it's another triplet rhythm, but instead of going all the way through each chord, I'm just gonna sustain each second chord to sound like this, so watch. And then we're gonna go through and do the exact same thing on the third chord and the fourth chord. So I've already told you that when I have a chord rhythm, I like to progress into them because you could save a lot of energy in the intro of your song just by doing that and you can make a better build, at least in my opinion. So the way I would use this rhythm is like this. All right guys, so for this next chord pattern, I'm just going to use the same chords that we just used, but I'm gonna change them up a bit to something very, very common and very versatile. I hear this in a lot of trap songs, future bass songs, and even house songs, and you can do uh, the swing trick with this one too, and it'll always sound really like super sick. So for this one, I'm just gonna take out the sustained notes here and continue on with the triplet pattern. And for this one, I let go of the triplet pattern for this last half bar here. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. So I'm actually going to take these and just do that. And then we'll take a triplet pattern. And so then we'll get something like this. But again, we can add some bounciness to this by swinging the notes. So watch every other note here, nudge over a bit, and then I'm just going to right click it, trim notes to the following notes so that all of the notes get out of each other's way. so sick I love swinging notes so much so those chord patterns are really the most basic chord patterns that every EDM producer should definitely know and should definitely know how to use and like I said I like to progress into a lot of these chord patterns but they are basic of course there are a million other chord patterns at your disposal that you could work into a song that I obviously can't fit into the single video but if you guys would truly like to maximize your chord game to the highest degree and learn chords melodies arrangement sound design mixing and mastering come meet me in my edm boot camp because that is the place to learn it all and i will see you guys in the next video